In this video, I'll be showing you how to download Fire 3, Microsoft's new small language model, which works really well, even if you don't have a really advanced PC. So what you want to do is go to a website called alarma.com and then click on the download button here and then click on your operating system and then click download. And while this isn't the actual model, this is where we will download the model from. Once that's installed, all you need to do is click on the Alarma Setup XC and then if you now click install, now, once that's installed, if you go to your command prompt and type in the word Alarma, it should bring up this information over here. If you get an error saying something like Alarma isn't installed, then perhaps what you need to do is go to your Windows search bar and type in the word Alarma and then click on it to start it and then run the Windows command again. Once everything is set up properly, all you need to do is type in the following command, Alarma, run, and then Fi3, and then click enter, and that should begin the download. Now that's finished installing, the Fi3 model is actually running right now. So now if I type in a question, what model are you? I should get a response. Now, one thing that impressed me about this model is the speed that it can reply to answers. So if you type in anything, it will reply to it in relatively quick fashion. Another thing that impresses me is how much little memory it uses. So if you look on the right here, here I have my memory usage graph. And now if I type in the word Alarma run Fi3 to run it again from scratch, we can clearly see the spike in the memory usage, but even that itself is not very significant. So it only looks to be like a roughly two GB increase. Now the model itself is not perfect. So while I was testing, I did have some weird occurrences. So for example, I asked it to write me something about the Olympics. And while it did do that, it actually ended up returning stuff about Python instead, which I didn't want. And then there was another occurrence where I actually switched the language to something other than English. When I tried to switch it back into English, it just wouldn't listen. And I actually had to restart the entire Fi3. And so all this goes to show is that this model is not perfect, but even then it doesn't really have to be because the speed and the memory, which it takes is really quite a step forward when it comes to these sort of models. And I think over time, future models will come, which will iron out all these issues that occur with this model and so that's it for today if you have any questions leave a comment in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video